everyone welcome back now now this is uh, quite an interesting topic where a lot of of you would have been looking for and <clears throat> and this is something that the document that I have prepared is quite old not that too old as well but it's quite old as well it's quite old in nature and uh, <clears throat> i had prepared during the early times when i was working on the um web methods and uh, this talks about the <clears throat> lot of things and one of them is about the certificate creations in uh, various formats now to work with that what i want you to guys do is that download a software which is called as open ssl and you need to google out like open ssl open ssl dot exe something like this okay um for windows see this is the page wiki wiki open ssl dot org click on this <coughs> right so click on this and then open ssl for windows i have i've gone through this part of it I just click down to this link and here i have just downloaded one of them that's i've downloaded this part of it which is nothing but the exe msi and i've installed it okay i've installed this msi part of it now it's up to you whichever options that you believe that it's right you can select from here but i would request this is a page that you need to target on wiki.openssl.org <coughs> and here um i've installed it and see um program files i believe um right so program files <coughs> open ssl win64 under this bin you have open ssl.txt so let me actually open my open my command prompt um i'll just say cmd okay and i'll say run as administrator <coughs> and i'll go to this path okay and i'll keep it ready right so this is done <coughs> so this part is done and now we will walk through this document step by step and try to implement it okay uh, this is quite important now what is an ssl ssl it stands for secure socket layer and uh, just let me clear out this highlighter i like this highlighter okay is a set of <coughs> cryptographic protocols that help providing communications over a network the most important being the public internet okay and <clears throat> and this this particular section does not cover the whole topic of certificates but we'll just walk through the documents whatever we have have prepared and ssl has its successor which is tsl okay uh, we, uh, tls actually so this okay i think i spelled it wrongly okay it's a transport layer security <clears throat> and ssl has its successor which is nothing but at this stage we are using TLS, okay, transport layer security, and uh, enabling them will help in establishing a secure communication between client and server. Okay, cool. Terminologies, All right? So about the certificates, this is an electronic document, uh, primarily used to provide a public key. The server provides a certificate. The server provides a certificate slash public key to the client requesting for a connection. So you have a client, you have a server. You guys know this. So. uh the server provides the, <coughs> the server provides a certificate public key for the client with the help of requesting for a <coughs> connection now if you see here diagram it's pretty clear okay you have a server and you have its private key and even the client will ha- will be all also having its private key okay if there's a two way ssl handshake that happens then both of them exchange their public key and each of each of that public key will be stored in their trust store and key store um and then um, the exchange communication will happen okay now i think this this is something that most of us are aware of it but still we'll just walk through it okay the client uses the public key the client uses the public key to encrypt the data that is being sent to the server the server also has a private key which is only known to the server and the private key can can only decrypt the client data which was encrypted by the public key okay in addition the certificate provides information about the certificate authority that signed the certificate right so in our poc we are going to self sign our own certificate uh, because uh, in in real project we will be going to a third party like verizon or some other organization and i think um, there are quite few parties um uh, certificate 
signing authority signing authority there are quite few companies to be honest um companies which uh, which actually see digicert is one of them that i have that i've kind of worked on with it okay uh, issuer okay this is one that i've quite seen a digicert we have used quite a lot um right so this as you say this, if you see the ratio this has the highest one <coughs> um see here as on november 2021 the survey company w3 tech which collects the statistics on certificate authority usage among the alexa top 10 million tranco top 1 million websites list the five largest authorities by absolute usage share as you can see um, i didn't trust uh, but anyways i've we have used this part of it at least i've used this part of it um, yeah there are many more of it so now let's go back to our guy this is there you go okay the certificate <coughs> is a tamper proof so that if a if any byte in the single file is changed the certificate becomes invalid the format of the file is also known as x.509 okay now trust store now where do i see this trust store okay if i go to local host <coughs> the local host 5555 let me log in administrator manage um sorry where was the document okay there you go so under security if you can see you have a key store okay key store okay that's uh, click on this <coughs> now if you can see here create a trust store alias and key uh, create a key store alias so key store list and trust store list by default guys by default it's already provided see here by default key store and trust store is already provided by web methods how cool is that okay and if you can see the type is of jks format hmm? and the provider is sun you know all cool like this okay so there is in this common conf there is already <coughs> uh information available to us okay so let's just let's open this and see uh command prompt c not c g um g web methods software ag okay there you go i'll just okay now common okay just let me view as list common conf see here common conf and then keystore.jks okay so we have it already here a default keystore okay then you have the trust store as well under common conf platform see common conf it should be under some other part common conf platform trust store dot jks here it is see platform trust store dot jks and then you have under jvm these are these are nothing but the default jvm trust store uh, let me see if that i have it jvm jvm okay jvm there you go jvm jvm lib security jvm jvm lib security and there you go ca certs see right so but before that okay let's uh, not get into it now here what is a trust store see here this is a repository of trusted certificates trust store contains a repository of trusted certificates a trusted certificate is a certificate signed by an external certificate authority as you said digicert or any okay for example very sign or digicert that is known to be a trusted entity in our case for psc we will be doing our own self signed certificate okay csr now in additional an addition an additional certificates from these trusted cas are implicitly trusted as well a certificate from a top level ca cannot be attested by some other higher ca there being none so the certificate is a root certificate such certi such certificate is called as a self signed certificate so remember this read it again any additional certificates from these trusted cas are implicitly trusted as well a certificate 
from a top level CA, from a top level CA, okay, from a top level certificate authority cannot be attested by some other higher CA. And this is called as a self-signed certificate. Okay, uh, let's, uh, and a key store, let's talk about a key store. A key store is a repository similar to a trust store. It is also a repository similar to a trust store except that it contains one or more pairs, one or more pairs of self-signed certificate, the public key and the private key plus intermediary keys. See guys, about what is public key, private key, intermediary keys, these are all, these are all a huge concept of its own. And uh, this is something we are not going to deal with in, in the web method section. Uh, this takes its own time, but just it's kind of a thought to know. It's like, it's good to know that there's a thing like this. Okay. So it's one or more pairs of signed certificates, the public key, the private key and intermediary key. Okay. The Java document, the Java documentation refers to each key store entry as being a key, as being a key entry. Okay. It's like a public key value pair. Okay. So here, if you can see the key store, key store contains, <coughs> um, one or more pairs of signed certificates. It's like you have signed it and uh, that that contains the intermediate keys, private key and the public keys. Okay. So that's a key store. Now there's a thing called as a Java key store. Okay. This is a repository of certificates and keys in a format that is specific to Java. The format of the file is referred to as JKS. Now you guys got it that JKS Java key store. Okay, you saw that web methods, right? Web methods in Java key store. Okay, so that's that's the one. Okay, the Java key store typically contains certificates and keys. It, the Java key store contains certificates and keys, and these are added, updated, or removed using a tool, utility tool called key tool. But actually, it's not required. You can still work work it out in a different way. Okay, it is also possible to update the repository programmatically. For example, to add a private keys. This is something it's uh, kind of an advanced programming. We will we have to deal with that later. But just again, good to know. Okay, now open SSL. This is what <coughs> we have downloaded it and we'll be working on. Okay, the file formats. Right, so here is it. This is important thing, guys. Okay, this is very important. File formats. Um, trust store is nothing but a collection of certificates. Certificates can contain uh, only public keys because it's a trust store. The two common formats are PEM or CER and the other one is JKS. So if I go back to here and bring that up. Okay. So let me bring that local host again. <coughs> okay. Local host. Da -da -da -da. Where is local host? So security, <clears throat> let's click on the uh, certificates. No, this is certificate is still fine. Uh, key store. Okay. If you can see right now we're talking about trust store. I'll just scroll down here. Trust, trust store. See here. Trust store. As you can see here, this is a trust store. Okay. Just see this is a trust store. And here, if you can see type is JKS. This is what we are dealing with. Okay, but also note this, it can be in PEM or CR as well. If I say create on trust store alias, see here, no, but which means there's no other option that by default, which means the trust store is only is provided in JKS formats, format. Always remember that then. Uh, I believe that there was an option, but hey, sorry, even I was wrong. So web methods only provides JKS format for trust store alias, which is fine. What about then key store? key store you have JKS and PKCS12. So this might be an interview question for those who are working on the admin part of it. But uh, yeah, so now we know that trust store has only JKS, whereas key store has both JKS and PKCS12. Okay, cool. So it's good to know now. Now let's go back. Let's go back where where we okay here. Okay. Um, so PEM or CR, these are nothing but individual X0, X.509 certificates. These are the formats that are normally produced by the certificates authorities. The other extensions include .CRT, .KEY, .key. Okay. The JKS, the Java key store, which contains multiple X09 certificates, 
this associates each certificates with an alias that in which we are going to see it now next key format key store formats as we have mentioned that a key store does contain one or more collection of public keys and private keys the most two common features that what we have are p uh, pfx or p12 files these are the binary formats that contains the public key and the private key and any intermediary key and jks okay right now web methods uses jks as the key store format uh, key store format jks but actually this documentation as i said it's quite old so it's uh, i should have given the pks as well pks cs12 so um, this is something that is a conflict okay so this statement is not right okay now the tools that are going to required to generate the key store and trust store are this few of them i'll be using this uh, in the projects few of them i have also seen using this as a portal okay and even this as well so this is this is something this part i'm not used seeing it but 1 2 4 i have seen using this okay now uh let's uh, go back to this diagram uh, sorry this particular path and let's start generating our private key and then let's see how we can work it out so we will we'll, we will start our uh, executing these commands in the next tutorial until then thank you and uh, i would request you guys to also look more on the certificates part of it uh, by obviously googling or wikipedia out um as i said because i don't prefer much on preparing a ppt because if anyone has to prepare a ppt they anyways have to read some documents here and there so just uh, take that time out to work it out all right guys so see you guys in the next tutorial thank you